When I got to Treasure Island, I noticed they had a self-check-in kiosk, but I wanted to talk to someone at the counter to see if I could get a room on the higher floors. This was on a Monday afternoon and there was a long line. Luckily one of the employees was trying to get people to use the kiosk and I asked about the room on a higher floor. He was able to radio over to someone to make sure I was booked on a higher floor. I then went over to the self-check-in. One of the ways they try to motivate you to use the kiosk is to offer you a discount coupon for the food court, but that's something I'll get, get into a little bit later. All right, I'm up in room 3430. They have a nice little Scan your card to get in, no sliding the card in, which is much more convenient in my opinion. Um, they do have a security latch. Um, first thing, let's go ahead and head into the bathroom. Um, first thing I noticed, this is a very large bathroom um, compared to all the other ones I've been to. Um, nothing special about it. Um, I believe it's a marble uh, countertop here. They give you some um, soaps, conditioners, things like that. Um, couple hand towels, um, more towels up here, uh, toilet, but it, it's so hard to describe like how big this bathroom is walking in here. You have a fairly large tub. Um, I'm a big guy, but I could take a bath in this. Like I, I usually cannot do that. Um, the shower head isn't that great, but it works. So not a bad bathroom. Coming into the bedroom, you have a room that's it's not really that big. Uh, last year I stayed at Rio and it was a lot bigger, but that was a suite. Um, so you got your um, cabinets, I guess, right here on both sides of your bed. Uh, this is my last day, so the room is a little messy. I apologize for that. You got your phone here if you really need that. Um, your lamp, which has USB and standard charging on it. Uh, three drawer or no two drawers sorry they're just really big and you have a nice little uh, stand here if you need to put anything on it um, going over to the other side basically the same thing you got your 
charger, um, both of them, uh, all the same kind of uh, stands and drawers. You do have an overhead light, which is really nice, and you can control it from either side. So on and off, it has a switch on that side too. Um, you got this nice little chair. Um, I used it once or twice just to sit down. I turned it around just so I could enjoy the view of the Vegas Strip, which is, it's a decent view. Um, compared to what you're paying, compared to like, let's say you were in the Bellagio or something like that, or Caesars Palace, um, it's not bad. I got to see the Mirage, um, the last showing of the Volcano Show, or I, I got to see it throughout you know, the few days I was here. It was pretty cool to see. Um, coming over this side, you have a little desk to work on stuff. You got your mirror. You have a 1080p TV that I have my laptop hooked up to. Uh, more drawers. You have a mini fridge, which is not a weighted fridge, just a regular fridge you can put your stuff in, which is nice. And then you have a, um, a safe. So, the couple gripes I've had. So, the first night I was here, um, the, uh, the room I was in, the AC did not work well. And it's been about 110 degrees the whole time I've been here in Vegas. It's hot. I'm from the Northwest, and this weather is, it's brutal for me. I'm not used to it. Um, so, the AC wasn't working that well. The refrigerator wasn't working that well. Um, let me go back over and show you something here on this closet. So this closet here that you can put stuff in, um, it has a light that is triggered. It comes on based off this right here. So when this closes, it's hard to see, but the light will go off. So the other room that was broken, it would not turn off. So at night I'm sitting there trying to sleep and you got that little bit of light there that was really throwing me off and not letting me sleep. Um, <clears throat> So that was the uh, other thing that was wrong with the room. So I was able to move rooms. The AC is a little bit better in this room. Not the best, but it's, I can handle it. Uh, the refrigerator works a lot better. And of course that light in the, uh, um, in the closet works fine. It turns off when it needs to. Um, basically that's pretty much everything from the hotel room. It's not a big room. It's all right. Um, definitely better than the other ones I've stayed in on my trip. Uh, ones that were actually even better or more expensive, I should say, than this one. So. Um, Treasure Island isn't bad. It is starting to show its age. Things like this. Let me show you. Like you can see, I don't know if you can actually see, but like right up here at the, the edge of the window, um, it needs to be filled back in. I'm not sure how much um, cold air or hot air is getting in and cold air is getting let out because of that. Um, but it, it's, you know, you got some stains on the carpet also when you're looking around. Some places of the hotel look a little beat up. It's not bad. It's still got life in it, but it could probably use a renovation in the next few years. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for the hotel room. Let me show you around the rest of the hotel. The area was shared between two restaurants. In the evening, it was a faux Vietnamese restaurant, and in the morning and afternoon, it's a restaurant called The Coffee Shop. I did eat there in one morning for breakfast. It was okay, but I didn't think it was anything special. It was kind of expensive for what you get. 
Honestly, I would rather have just walked down the strip and gone to Denny's if I had known. Another restaurant located in the resort was Gilly's. Now this place was good. It was expensive, but it was worth it in my opinion. The first time I went in there, I had their pulled pork hamburger and it was amazing. The second time I went in, I had their nachos, which was a very good portion size and it was also very good. While walking through the casino, I ran across a frozen yogurt shop. I usually avoid these places because they're just too much money, but it was 110 degrees in Vegas. It was a little expensive, but it was pretty good, and I probably would end up going there again if I had the choice. They also had a pizzeria on the property. I stepped in for a moment and took a look at their menu, but when I saw the prices, I just turned around and left. They had a little arcade called The Cove. Um, it was also a bar. I walked through it briefly. They had a few things like um, these golf um, things. I don't know what they're called. Um, they had a little mini bowling alley, which was kind of neat. Um, and they also had a few arcade machines. But honestly, it wasn't anything impressive. I've seen a lot better ones at other places that are a lot cheaper. The pool area was pretty disappointing. It was very small. Luckily the hot tub was pretty big and you could fit a decent amount of people in it. Looking down from my hotel room you can actually see how small the pool was. I stayed at the Rio last year and it was much bigger than this. Remember earlier when I mentioned that the self-checkout allowed you to get a coupon for the food court? Well, the food court was only Popeyes. There's also a CVS attached to Treasure Island if you are desperate, but if you have a car, just hop in it and drive down to Walmart and do your shopping there. You'll save yourself a ton of money. When you get to the third floor, you need to walk through the spa to get to the gym. When walking through the hall, there was a bucket catching water from the ceiling. I'm assuming this was because of the air conditioning running so hard. The gym itself is pretty nice for a cheaper casino on the strip. They had a good amount of treadmills, free weights, and machines. The treadmills also had a decent amount of apps on them, so I could watch YouTube, which was a nice feature.
I had an excellent view of the strip, being able to see the Mirage Volcano and the Bellagio Fountains going off at the same time. Unfortunately, now that the Mirage is closed, you can no longer get that view. I was able to film the volcano going off from street view on the last night the Mirage was open. At the time, I thought it was the last show, but apparently they set it off one more time in the morning for closing ceremonies. I'm getting everything ready to check out in the morning. Um, it is Wednesday night, I believe. Um, I, I wish I could have seen more here, but the heat has just made it so hard to do anything. Um, I did have a good time tonight. I went down to Fremont Street and just kind of walked around, and I'll probably you'll probably see the video for that before you'll see this. Um, but overall, what did I think of Treasure Island? Um, it was a pretty good experience for the money you paid. I paid $4.96 including resort fee for four nights in the middle of July. In my opinion this is an excellent price for a casino on the strip in the middle of the summer. Treasure Island also has a no resort fee option but it was hard to find out what you would lose with that option since they don't really advertise it that well. What I could dig up on the site, the resort fee pays for free parking, internet access, the gym, newspaper and guest services, local and toll free calls, airline boarding pass printing, and up to 10 pages of copies and faxes. For the free parking, they never asked for my license plate, so I don't know how that would track. So if you don't care about internet or the fitness center, you can save 45 bucks plus tax a night. Overall, the hotel wasn't bad. I was disappointed with the food court, but there was other options for food available. Plus you're right on the strip and everything is within walking distance. The room itself was almost perfect. As I said, the AC wasn't the best and the hotel is starting to show signs of its age. My biggest complaint, like all hotels, is how they lock you out of the TV from plugging anything into it. 
I carry a universal remote with me, but this TV was locked out unless you unscrewed the coax cable and unplugged the hotel's HDMI. Then you were able to switch to your input for a game console or laptop. The bed was decent. It wasn't the best, but I didn't wake up in pain from my back, which usually happens to me at hotels with bad mattresses. My final opinion is that I would definitely stay here again. I was going to show my walks around the strip in this video also, but it's already been too long. So next week, I'll post another video just walking around Vegas. As always, thanks for watching.